Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a video that I'm excited about. I bought a wig from a Facebook ad. Now, I don't know how this is going to look, but I'm excited to try it out. So I figured I would bring you guys along with me to check out this wig. It was $35, I do believe. So it was from a website called wigstyleofficial.com. Now it was advertised on my Facebook, so I thought I would give this a go because it, they were having some sort of special sale, like 50% off or something, and I was like, hey, why not? Let's try it. I bought one of the wigs, and I'll be trying it on, on camera, for you guys today. Hopefully it doesn't look freaking crazy. Either way, I'm going to wear it and try it on, and I might still wear it with a beanie because, you know, you can always fix a bad wig with a beanie or a hat. The wig that I purchased, let me see if I can go to the website and find it. So, of course, it pops up when I go to Wig Style Official and says, Congratulations on your eligibility to buy a second one-half price offer. The offer will end today and will automatically resume the original price after the event. Wish you can finish the payment and we will arrange shipment as soon as possible. Wish you shopping happy. Okay, first of all, I've already signed up for their emails and I got my wig 50% off when I bought it the first time. So I feel like this is kind of one of those like... Oh, Lord, this is exactly how it was the first time I bought it. It says, you know, this sale is limited time only and it's by the... <laughs> Buy one wig 50% off, buy the second one half price. Like, I don't know. I don't know, man. And their wigs just look like, on the site, they look so, like, pretty. And there's no way those are, like, actually them. It doesn't even say the color or the style of the wig on my bag. It just has, like, weird numbers on there. I typed that ashy blonde hair into the search engine on their website. And I can't even find the same wig, like the same style. And I'm like, wow, that's a scam. Or maybe they just ran out of stock of it. Why is it so hard to open? I got the nude wig caps because allegedly these look more natural under the wigs. Like they look more like a scalp color. So I did get the nude one. It smells weird. It's literally just like pantyhose material, but a little bit thicker. Um, I also was under the impression that I was getting a lace front wig. If this is not a lace front wig, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> because the only other wig that I own is also, um, not lace front. So it looks very, like, fake and weird and the hairline looks wrong and it looks very wiggy and it doesn't look good or normal. And I can only wear it with a hat or a beanie. And I was kind of hoping I didn't have to do that for this. Now I'm going to put the wig cap on. Oh my god, this is so tight. What the f crap, dude? This is so tight. Oh. This is so, this is going to be hard work. I didn't know this was going to be this difficult. So I don't know if I need to like put it right at my hairline or leave my hairline out. Wow, I've never looked uglier. Mm. I think this is like as good as it's going to get. So let's get into the wig because that's the fun part. So it does come in this little like Ziploc bag. And on the photo, this looked less gray. I mean, I get it's ash blonde, so it's got to be like an ashier blonde, so it's supposed to be a little bit gray. But this looked a lot more blonde and a lot less gray to me in the picture online than it does in person. Like, and on camera, this shit looks silver. Which I'm cool with. I've been wanting to do like gray hair for a while or see if I look good with gray hair. <laughs> this is not lace front. I really thought I was getting a lace front wig, especially for that money. So I can already tell this is not going to look freaking natural on my head. Oh well, you live and you learn, right? Ooh. Wow. 
This looks so bad. Oh, it looks so wiggy. Like, you guys know what I, do you see what I mean? Like, this is not believable. How would anybody think that my hairline is like that? I do like this color a lot. I was told that it, you can put like, wow, it is shedding so bad. Oh my god, it is so, sh it's shedding. Oh, this is going to be such a pain to clean up. Oh my god. And it looks just like a little bit too shiny. So I do have some dry shampoo. Let me try to put some, stick it to my gloss. Let me try to put some, some dry shampoo in there. And see if that helps with the weird shine. This just doesn't look like the picture. This is like a really good example of when you see it online versus when it comes in. Like, this is... It's okay. I think I can wear it with a hat. It's definitely going to be a hat wig. You know what I'm saying? Like, wear it with a hat or a beanie. It's going to look okay. The hairline just looks so bad. Like, look at that. I think it looks so bad. Like, maybe from far away. <laughs> no. I don't know. The color is very nice. It's a very comfortable wig. Like, the fit is really good around my head. It's not, like, sliding around off of me. And I don't even have it, like, clipped in. Like, they have clips, obviously, but... Maybe, I don't know. Some people say if you, like, you can, like, pluck out the hairline and make it look more realistic. Maybe I'll try that. But, um, I really like the color and how much of it there is. I don't like how much it's shedding. It's shedding horribly. Clip it back. You know, like, take a hair clip and do it, like, half, half up, half down type deal. So, no, it still kind of looks like trash. Maybe it's because my hair, my real hairline showing. Let me just pull that down. I like this color a lot. I think this color looks freaking cool. But I... This ain't it. This ain't it. So let me go get a hat. <laughs> and I'll be right back. I'm back. <laughs> I grabbed a beanie and a hat. So let's try it that way. Oh my god, I have to loosen this hat because I have so much freaking hair underneath my wig, like, in the wig cap. I really do like the color, I think, a lot, though. Like, does this color look good on me? Like, maybe it's only because I'm tan right now. Like, if I was pale, this probably would not look good at all. But because I'm tan, this shit looks kind of good. Ooh, so that's uncomfortable, but that's because I think I put my hair up too high in the ponytail in the beginning. So here it is with a hat. That's kind of cute. Okay. Let me turn my ring light off. So like, here's with a hat. That's kind of cute. Shoot. With wigstyle.com, I see you. This is a look. I would look better as a blonde, I think. Wow. Which, if you don't see the hair, the fricky hairline, then it doesn't look that bad, like from this angle with my head chopped off. Not bad. Oh yeah, that's cute. That's cute. Oh look, you can see my fake tan. Oh. oh, that's bad. That's so bad. Okay, but here's the hair. Like, See, it's a lot of hair, you guys. This shit looks kind of good. Well, maybe it was a good $35 spend. If the hairline wasn't shit, it would be even better. If it was an actual lace front, this shit would be dope. I might do some videos with this and like some makeup tutorials and like, I don't know, make it kind of fun and I'll play around with it. It might be something I actually like. Not like... <coughs> it's just not like the best quality wig like, oh my god, this is, I love this, this is like my favorite. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's pretty good. I do have another wig that's very similar in thickness and in length and in like the curl, which I do like the curl in the body. If you're thinking about getting a wig from wigstyle.com, then, you know, wigstyleofficial.com. I would be a little bit hesitant, 
it's okay for like cheap wigs so it's only worth it when they're doing their 50% off sale because a lot of these say that their full price is like $80 or whatever and that's just too much like I wouldn't pay that much for this wig it's not like blowing my mind right now you know so that's strictly up to you take with it what you will thank you guys so much for watching uh, if you enjoyed today's video please give it a like give it a thumbs up Subscribe to my channel and press that little bell if you want to get notifications every time I upload. If you want to follow my Instagram, it is Emma Victoria, all one, all lowercase, underscore M-U-A. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you in the next one. Bye!